Hey guys, take a moment to the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem where on your iPhone it says this number is registered to your Apple ID, but it's not associated with this iPhone. And you can keep using the number for iMessage and FaceTime until it expires, and then it gives you this message where you can remove it from iMessage and FaceTime. So this happens for a couple of reasons. If you recently swapped numbers or reported your number, or having any cellular issues, or if you just recently got a new number, you might see this message. So you wanna follow these steps in order to fix this problem. So I'll show you what you need to do. First thing is go into your setting of your iPhone. And once you go into setting of your iPhone, you wanna to go to phone here. And then under phone here, where it says my number, you click on my number here and verify that that's the correct number that you have. You can adjust the number here if it's not the correct number here. So make sure you can check that number out here. I can't click on it because uh, this phone doesn't have a phone number associated with it, but you get the idea where you can edit the number here and save it. Now, after you verify that's the correct number here, the next thing you wanna do is where you see that message, right, comes up, which is in your iMessage or FaceTime, you can click on first thing to remove from iMessage and FaceTime. I'm gonna show you how to get it back. So you click on that remove from iMessage and FaceTime. So click on that so it can remove your number. Now, once it removes your number in your setting here, you're gonna do a couple things here. You're gonna turn off iMessage and then go to FaceTime, also turn off FaceTime. So turn those two settings off. And then after you turn those settings off, you're gonna go click on your Apple ID here. Once you click on your Apple ID here, go all the way down here where it says sign out. So you click on the option to sign in click on sign out and then you'll enter your password to sign out of your Apple account here. So, I'm so once you enter your Apple ID password, you click on turn off up here so it can sign you out of your Apple ID account. And then you'll click on sign out here, click on sign out one more time and it should start the process to sign you out. Now once you signed out, the next thing you wanna do is go into your general setting of your iPhone. You can Go to where it says transfer reset iPhone and then click on reset. And the reset that you want to do is a network reset of settings. So you click on network reset, click on reset. And what that does is it basically erases any saved Wi Fi password and any Bluetooth connected devices and any network configuration that may be interfering with your phone's connectivity. So we want to do that. It takes about maybe a minute and most two minutes, which you'll see the Apple logo up here and it should get back to your main screen. Now this will not delete any of your personal data, so all of your photos, videos, apps still will be on your phone, so you don't have to worry about that. So once you see the Apple logo, it might go through that loading screen a few times, but that's completely normal, and you go back to your iPhone and put in your passcode if you have a passcode, and once you're back on here, you're gonna want to now do a forced restart. So in order to do a forced restart, you're gonna click the volume up followed by volume down and release them one after another and then hold the side button on your right hand side until the screen goes completely black and you see the apple logo up here at that time you'll let go of that button so i'll do volume up volume down and then i hold the side button just like that and i'm going to keep on holding until the screen goes completely black do not slide to power off because that will be just a normal shutdown we're just going to keep on holding this button the screen went black that's fine you're gonna keep on holding it and after a few seconds you should see the Apple logo and then you let go of that button. And what that does is shuts down the phone completely, even the software of it, and then reloads the code. So if it's a software related issue impacting that air message to come up, it will fix it for you. Now we're gonna wait till we get back to the main screen. You're gonna enter your passcode, get back into your phone. Now you're gonna go ahead and connect to either Wi-Fi or if you have cellular data, that works as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my Wi-Fi. And once you connect to your Wi-Fi, you're gonna hit join here, let you join. Again, you might not you might need Wi-Fi if you have cellular data, but I find Wi-Fi works the best when it comes to troubleshooting this. And then after that, you also wanna go ahead and sign into your Apple ID here. So you can sign in manually or bring, uh, and then go ahead and enter your email and password. So I'm just gonna do that right now. Once you have entered your email and Apple ID password for the account that you've signed out existingly, you'll hit done here and it should start signing you in. You might get a verification code if you do have two factor on. So I'm just gonna enter my verification code. Entered your verification code. You should simply be able to get signed in just like that. And we're gonna wait till we're signed in here. 
you can either merge or not merge that doesn't really matter but you just wait till you're signed in again one more time here we're gonna wait till it signs us in so that we can use the Apple services like iMessage and FaceTime we're gonna go back here and we'll go to the main setting here and this time we'll go to messages ensure that iMessage is turned on if it's not already and then here where it says received and iMessage you should see your number pop up now this time the correct number without the error message so you'll select that number same thing with FaceTime it should be turned on and where it says it can be reached by you can adjust that and you can pretty much select your number as well and that number registered with your Apple ID but not associated with your iPhone error message should go away after doing all this and that's how you fix that error message so I hope you guys found this video helpful and hopefully it fixes the issue for you if so please make a like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time